Hello everyone and welcome to the car man's channel. We are going to be doing a battery load test today and um, this is good for anyone that buys used batteries or kind of wants to keep an eye on theirs, see if it's good or bad. Just, it's a good little cheap tool to have around and this is just a quick definition of how to use it and what it's good for and all that good stuff. Of course there is a few variables as always. Meanwhile, our channel is always about education and we try to teach you something or let you teach us something as well as we try to earn a subscriber out of you guys because we need them bad so we'd appreciate it if you did follow us on instagram and all the other cool stuff also we have the coolest little amazon store you've ever seen in our description check it out on my favorite stuff there meanwhile the first thing i do is look for a little bit of accuracy so i'm gonna check the voltage real quick looks like that says 13.1 i can deal with that it's a Usually around 12.7, but I've just recently charged it because I really like to have at least 70% or above on a battery before I check it. So that's all good in the hood. All right. So if you ever are going to hook these things up, the best thing to do, the black one comes off first, always, and the red one comes off second. And before we check anything, because of battery has gas in it fumes I guess is a better word it's always better to hook the positive up first remember stop and go red that's how I was taught of course I'm kind of retarded so it all depends on who you are you don't really see much of a any kind of a spark there and that's because you go red first and black um, okay so you just hook up your little loader and then I'm doing this by hand today, so let's see if I can actually do this with you. So the first thing we just looked at, I think our, our counter said, what did it say, 13, 1 or something like that? And this right here is showing a little bit over 14, so this is analog, so it could be off by just a little bit. And the reason that's where I check is because I want to make sure. And then if you look right here where the 12 volts is at, or the little pointer, see the little pointer? That's kind of the sweet spot. So, and then you see down there 500 cold cranking amps, 700 gold crank, cold cranking amps, and every little notch means a different variation. And then on the full right-hand side here, that's what would happen if the car was running, it'd be checking it. But it's really amped up right now because it just got charged, so that's good. I'm trying to get those shadows out of there for you because I want you to get a clear shot of this. Let's see if I can kind of do that. All right. So the premise here is, this little device has a resistor in it. And when we engage this button for 10 seconds, it's kind of like simulating what a starter would do. But there's so many variables, like how big is your starter and all this and that. So it's, this isn't a completely accurate test, this is kind of like a gauge. So we'll see what happens. Basically, the further in the green you stay, you see that five and 700 at, the better off you are. This is 600 cold cranking amps. So we can tell by that second notch, anything that's getting close to there shows weakness. But, like I said, this is a recon battery, so we don't know what specs it was ever made to. It says 600 cold cranking amps, but on a rebuild, you just don't know. So let's see. First thing we're going to do, we got that little 10 second delay here. And we're going to put a load on it right now. One, two, you see her holding right there? Three, four five six seven eight nine ten now if you remember it looked like it was about a volt off almost from where we tested so i would say this thing when you put a load on it jumps down to around 12. i mean if i'm going to be completely fair here which is good this is a lot better than performance than i actually thought would happen um so i guess this battery is good now be very careful on these little guys as you see the back of it right here it's got all these little holes in it and there that's because inside of this bad boy is this little resistor and that sucker will get hot enough to fry eggs on so um, be careful don't just put your hand anywhere on it or anything like that but that's basically all there is to it we just kind of want to know what happens when you put a load on it see if this thing would have dropped into the yellow or into the red right here kind of center screen we would have known we had a bad deal and you see the volts going across the start top starting at two over there and ending up at 14 
that's all we're really watching is the volts as you see she's back right back up she's this says it's 14 but you know whatever anyway guys you heard it first on the car man's channel on checking a load on a battery simple enough i will not say this is 100 percent accurate this is just a tool to help you kind of gauge if something is really bad it will tell you if it's really bad um but like you see this analog is off just a little bit and this is actually a blue point um snap on so this is a really high quality tool but doesn't mean it's always accurate and that's it so in closing always remember take the negative off then take the positive and you, that equals no explosion and that's the same as if you're jump starting a car or anything so nothing but peace and love from the car man i hope you get a chance to subscribe and check out that cool little amazon store we got rolling in the details man peace and love i got another one coming to you for you know it meanwhile let's take one more look at it this is our cool sexy load tester right there so any questions you guys got there it is and you just hit me up and i'll be glad to answer them no problem peace out nothing but love see you